Hey, fellas. Good morning to you. And now today is June, no, July 1st, 2024. And it is Monday morning. And as you can see, it is a... It is sunny morning today, not windy, temperature is little bit cold, but it is sunny day, so sitting in the sun is very nice this morning, very pleasant day, and I hope wherever you are in this world, I hope you, it is good morning in your area too, and that you have a good week this week. Now let me tell you guys, uh, let me start uh, about this uh, video, the topic of this video, I'm to want to talk about Eric Pereira and Gina White uh, and it seems to me like Gina White is not recognizing, he is missing something, he is not seeing that Eric Pereira right now is the What is he superstar in the UFC? And uh, he is not recognizing that fact and he is not promoting uh, uh, Alex Pereira and he is not uh, giving him his due. I think Alex Pereira is a very promotable guy and he uh, is the biggest superstar I think in, uh, in UFC right now. But when someone asks Dana White, Dana White goes back to John Jones and he says John Jones is number one pound for pound fighter and all of that. And there was a, I saw one clip in YouTube. Someone asked whether John Jones, some reporter asked whether John Jones was a number one fighter or what, what was John Jones' status. And then White lost his school and he said, oh, he started kind of yelling at the reporter. He said, John Jones is the baddest fighter, my baddest uh, man on the planet and number one fighter and all of that. And the reporter pushed back, he said, but John Jones is not fighter, he is not fighting at all. And then uh, White started yelling at him, he said, oh, well, you can't tell me that if John Jones is booked for a fight, uh, And that he and whatever John Jones has done in the past, uh, and that he is not the greatest fighter. Now nobody is disputing that John Jones is probably the greatest fighter ever, but right now he is inactive, he is not fighting. So that takes him out of the conversation, he is not even a fighter, why should he be one number one fighter, pound for pound? He is only one, one fight in heavyweight. And he hasn't fought in so many years. I think he fought in 2022. And since then he hasn't fought. So why is he number one? And you compare that to Alex Pereira. He's fought uh, multiple times at middleweight. And he's now fought multiple times and defended his belt at uh, 205 pounds. Uh, So he was champion in 185 and in 205. That automatically makes him a pound for pound number one because he's fighting a different weight class, a different size of people. And he's winning, he's defeating them. And uh, Islam Makhachev, some people say Islam Makhachev is number one, but even, even Islam Makhachev has only fought at one in one weight division. Eh? And uh, to be frank, uh, yeah, let, just, uh, let, let, let's just uh, compare these guys. I think Alex Pereira is the most active fighter. Uh, and really, he does not uh, mind, uh, he, like, he does not pick and choose his opponent. He fights whoever, like, even in UFC 303, he was not scheduled to fight, but uh, when the main event, Conor McGregor pulled out, uh, and they asked, uh, they asked, uh, and they asked uh, Alex Pereira, and uh, from the looks of things on social media, it seems like Alex Pereira was on vacation, 
but he said yes to the fight and he fought and also Jerry Prohaska. Jerry Prohaska also fought in UFC 300. So it was quick turnaround for both of these guys. And, uh, and uh, what should I say? What, what should I use? Uh, oh, but a good job for both these guys for taking the fight in short notice. But we saw now that Jerry Prohaska lost. And he lost by spectacular knockout again. So that means that uh, Pereira is a better fighter uh, and he's beating everyone. And everyone now, fans and fighters uh, and media people say Shama. I don't think anyone knows what Shama means except Alex Pereira, but people are saying Shama. And this it speaks about uh, uh, the appeal of uh, uh, Alex Pereira. Uh, like he, he is connecting with his fans and with media and everyone and he is the number one new superstar right now and the only one I think who can maybe challenge him but uh, will probably not is Max Holloway because Max Holloway does not really have his spectacular knockouts you know that fight against Gaethje that was kind of an exception not the rule although Max Holloway is a very exciting fighter very marketable person a likable person but still his, his popularity does not match Alex Pereira's popularity yeah, Alex Pereira is a dangerous looking guy man look at his body it looks like he's made from a stone it looks the body looks very hard like some bodybuilder named Dorian Yates. Dorian Yates body if you see it looks like a very hard body like a stone body and you can see similarity between his body and uh, and Alex Pereira body in terms of hardness not in terms of size or anything but in terms of hardness you can see the body looks uh, hard hard muscles not soft body like uh, like Jamal Hill looks soft body and uh, Anthony Smith looks this more soft body so not that kind of body even John Jones looks soft body so not that kind of body hard body hard muscle but yeah let us not talk about don't want to talk about body and want to talk about uh, Alex Pereira, his, his, his appeal is through the roof right now and this is the right time to market him, make him the face of UFC, build cards around him, put him in super fight against Israel Adesanya or John Jones, someone like that, some other big name. And those fights will sell and uh, everybody will be happy, UFC will make money, Alex Pereira will make money. His uh, opponent will make money. Um, fans will be happy because they will have good fight. Uh, so that is what I wanted to say in this video really. Like Jaina White, I don't know. He's good businessman, good leader, but I don't know what he's, uh, why he's not promoting uh, Alex Pereira more than he is. You know, he should promote him more. That is my opinion. But you know, I am a fan, so maybe I don't know about the business and uh, your contracts and all of that stuff. So maybe there are some challenges over there. But yeah, we should talk more about Alex Pereira, less about uh, Conor McGregor and John Jones. That is that is my opinion. So guys, uh, watch this video and uh, comment below. Tell me what you think. Who should uh, uh, the thing with Alex Pereira? There are no challengers for him. It seems except uh, Mopa and Ankolaev, uh, and uh, Ankolaev can beat him. But we will see what happens. But other than that, in his division, in 205 division, uh, there is no challenger for Alex Pereira. His only uh, fights, I think, are. Uh, the biggest fight I think would be Israel Adesanya to break their one they have one loss against each other so they should try to make that third fight and one of them will break that tie and be you know have the bragging rights it, it does not have to be fight for belt like I said in my previous video it is just a super fight for um, like uh, like the stupid BMF fight it is something like that so no title on the line nothing on the line and just a big fight they could, maybe they could have like a big uh, big jackpot kind of prize like a million dollar to the winner uh, to the winner that kind of thing to make to sell the fight uh, like a million dollar bonus
for the winner something like that they could do yeah but that would be great fight their fight is john jones but i don't think john jones will fight alex pereira and i think john jones is like um, i don't know he wants to fight this tp miocic i don't know what that does what the logic is tp miocic seems like easy win for john jones maybe that is why he want to fight him that is why he's not fighting aspinall either but yeah those are the fights and then other guys in heavyweight might uh, be interesting fight but i think heavyweight is too big for alex pereira he might like if he fights aspinall aspinall is bigger guy and aspinall can take him down beat him up so that would be like not a fair fight or it would be less it would be more one sided but i don't know man alex pereira has proven everybody wrong i think the people did not give him much chance when he started but now he's champion in two divisions he's been champion at 185 and now he's champion at 205 so we will see what happens so guys i'm going to end this video here i hope you have a good day and shama